Hello and a very warm welcome. Welcome to Cat's Cartoon Club. I'm Phil, I'm the curate here at St Catharines and I'll be taking you through Cat's Cartoon Club this morning. Uh, now you may be looking at me and thinking, Phil, why are you dressed like this this morning? Um, and there's lots of reasons. Uh, the first reason is it's Saturday, uh, so who doesn't like to dress like this on a Saturday? Uh, but the second reason is the film, the cartoon that we are looking at this month is this one, Robin Hood, Disney's Robin Hood. Um, so I'm dressed like this, I'm dressed as Robin Hood. Uh, there's been lots of films and TV series about Robin Hood. Uh, he's a really famous uh, character in, in folk tales. Uh, but we're thinking particularly about the Disney one. Uh, that's the film I picked out. Although all that we are talking about today will be equally applicable to any version of Robin Hood that you uh, might want to watch. Uh, but for now, I'm going to put, I'm going to give you 10 seconds uh, to pause this and go and watch it if you haven't already. Um, if you have watched it, then hold on for a moment and then we will get cracking with Cat's Cartoon Club. So if you haven't seen the film, or if you have seen a film but would like a reminder, I'm just going to take you through a little bit of the story of Robin Hood from the film. Um, so the story, it takes place long ago in England, uh, which was ruled by the greedy Prince John. He ordered the Sheriff of Nottingham to tax people so heavily that some were forced to become outlaws, uh, that's burglars. Two of the most famous outlaws were Robin Hood and Little John who are the, um, the bear and the fox you can see in green there. And they would steal the tax money from the sheriff and give it back to the poor. One day, uh, Prince John was traveling by coach to Nottingham to pick up more tax money. He was so busy counting his gold that he didn't notice that he was passing through Sherwood Forest, the home of Robin Hood. Nor did he see that little John and Robin Hood were watching him from a tree. Look at that gold. Hey, little John. Let's pay Prince John a visit, said Robin Hood. In his coach, Prince John was talking to his counsellor, Sir Hiss, about his favourite subject, gold. Life has become so wonderful since King Richard left for the Crusades. He treated the people too nicely and he missed out on all this lovely gold, said Prince John. Now Robin Hood and Little John were standing by the road and they were disguised as fortune tellers when the coach passed by. Prince John ordered the shop to stop the coach. While Robin Hood told Prince John's fortunes, he slipped the royal rings off his fingers and little John helped himself to the prince's gold. Prince John never even knew that he'd been robbed until little John and Robin had escaped. Prince John became very angry and commanded to double the taxes, but of course nobody could pay and the prisons were full. The sheriff even robbed the church and arrested the friar from objecting. So that's the friar, Friar Chuck Tuck, who's a friend of Robin Hood. When Prince John heard that Friar Tuck was in jail, he planned a new trap for Robin Hood. We'll hang the friar in the morning. When Robin comes to the rescue, we'll have him, said Prince John. But Robin Hood was a foxy fellow and he was dressed up like a guard. He and little John climbed the high castle wall and carefully stole the jail keys from the sheriff who was sleeping. Everyone was surprised to see the familiar faces and cried for joy. Meanwhile, Robin climbed up into Prince John's bedroom where all the gold was kept. Yeah, you can see that there. The Prince John and Sir Hiss were sound asleep and Robin tied the bags of gold to a rope between the bedroom window and the jail. Suddenly Prince John awoke and saw there was no gold left. The courtyard became a jumble of arrows, guards and fleeing prisoners. When Robin's hat bobbed to the surface of the moat, Prince John was overjoyed and thought that he was dead. But Robin had escaped by diving in the moat. Even Little John thought that Robin had drowned. But suddenly Little John saw Robin and was overjoyed. Soon after Robin's narrow escape, the good King Richard came back from the Crusades. There he is. And he took his place on the throne. Happiness returned to the land. Robin Hood and Maid Marian were married and all their friends came to wish them well. And the bad Prince John and Sir Hiss got their comeuppance. 
So that is the story of Robin Hood, according to Disney. Uh, and now we're going to look at another cartoon, uh, a cartoon from the Bible. I wonder what you'll make of this cartoon. Um, it's about a parable that Jesus talked, uh, that Jesus told, the parable of the talents. <laughs>
So those of you who have watched a few Cats Cartoon Club will know that we try to draw links between our cartoon film that we watch um, and our Bible cartoon that we watch. Um, so I wonder what the link is uh, between Disney's Robin Hood and the Parable of the Talents, which is that Bible cartoon we just watched. Well, for me, I think what they both have in common is they're both about people and how they behave uh, when the king or the master isn't there. So in Robin Hood, you've got Robin Hood and you've got all the people of Nottingham and Sherwood Forest who are waiting for King Richard to come back. Um, you've got some people that are being very well behaved, uh, waiting for the king. You've got Robin Hood and all the people who are yearning for the king to come back and make everything right. And they're living as if he is the king. Um, then you, but you've also got uh, the bad King John and you have got the Sheriff of Nottingham who are being badly behaved while the king is away. They're pretending he's gone away and he's not coming back. And they are bullying people and stealing money while the king is away. Uh, and what we find out at the end of the film, when the king does come back, he's pleased uh, with some people, uh, but he's not pleased uh, with the bad King John and he's not pleased with the Sheriff of Nottingham. In the Parable of the Talents, the other cartoon that we watched, we saw a man going away. Uh, and when he went away, he gave some money to each of his servants and asked them to look after it for him. And when he came back, he was pleased with some of the servants, wasn't he? He was pleased with the servants that used the money to make more money. Uh, but one servant he wasn't pleased with because he thought he was lazy. and He didn't do anything with the money and he couldn't give him any extra money back. And so he's very angry with that servant. So both of our stories are about someone going away and coming back um, and how people behave while they are away. And if we're Christians, uh, friends of Jesus, uh, then we believe that Jesus came to earth, he died, and then he uh, came back to life and went up to heaven. Uh, but we also believe that he's coming again. He's coming back from heaven and he'll bring, um, make all things new again. Um, so the question for us to think about, I think, in light of Robin Hood and the parable of the talents and the fact that Jesus is coming again, is actually, are we, live, are we being well behaved while Jesus is away? When Jesus comes back, will he be pleased with us um, or will he be angry with us? Will he come back um, like King Richard and see Robin Hood and be really pleased with the way that Robin Hood has been behaved? Or will he be like King Richard coming back and finding uh, the bad King John, be really angry with the way uh, that, that, that King John has been behaving while he's been away? So now we're coming to the part of Cat's Cartoon Club where you uh, need to do your bit. It's the craft time. In the description of the video, uh, there should be a link. If you follow that link, you'll be taken to a PDF. Uh, if you could do follow that link, print off the PDF, and then I would like you to make a cartoon, a comic strip for me. And I'd like your comic strip to be about someone who is waiting for someone else. Uh, so it's a story, it could be anybody you want in this story, it can be yourself, it can be your friends and family, it could be your favourite TV characters, it could be someone you've made up completely. I don't mind who uh, who is in your comic story, uh, but in your comic story it must include somebody who is waiting for somebody else. Uh, so do uh, take pause this video, go and print that off, make your own uh, cartoon strip and then uh, come back to us. So thank you ever so much for watching Cats Cartoon Club. We're hoping next month in July, uh, all the restrictions will be gone and we'll be able to meet physically in church to watch the cartoon together. So do keep checking uh, the St Catherine's Facebook page uh, for details uh, when we're ready to release them. Uh, but for now, I'm going to say thank you so much for joining us. Take care. God bless. And I will see you soon.